I'm Kat from Party Bang, and today I'm going to show you how to sew your masterpiece together. So we start by sewing the shoulder seams together, then we attach a sleeve, and then we go all the way from the rib to the bottom. Once you've lined up your shoulder seams together, it's time to cut your yarn that you're going to sew the pieces together with. So you want to make sure that you've got about a 10 centimeter allowance on either end so that we don't run out. So the first thing you do is thread the needle and then we like to attach our yarn on the opposite side to where we've kind of got that cast off tail. So that would mean that we do it on the red piece in the corner. So just thread your needle through the first stitch. And then what we're going to do, rather than sew the pieces sort of on top of each other, like wedging them on top of each other, we're going to pull the two pieces together by threading our needle underneath the cast off stitches on either side. So here you can see we thread our needle under the bars of the cast off stitch like this and give it a nice tug to kind of pull those two pieces together. And we'll show you a little bit closer. So here you can see we go under the cast off stitch like that and then pull it nice and taut and then do it again. So go under the cast off stitch like this and then pull the two pieces together. And then we do that all the way to the end to where the neckline begins. Once we've sewn the two shoulder seams together, it's time to attach the sleeves. So to do that, you want to line up the middle of that sleeve um, with the middle of your shoulder seam. So it does help that we have a bit of a grid pattern here. So you can see that we've lined it up nice and square. And then again, we're going to thread our needle through the stitch to sort of line it up where that shoulder panel begins. And this time, because we're sewing a cast off edge with sort of a long stockinette side it's going to be a little bit different so rather than go through the cast off stitches we're going to go through there's like two bars on the body panel like that so just thread your needle under those two bars and then here there'll be a little cross of where we've kind of cast those stitches on so you just go under the x so we like to go under the bars on the body side and then under the X on the sleeve panel. So you can see again we're going under those two bars on the body and then under the X on the sleeve. And we'll continue to do that all the way to the end of the sleeve and we'll get a nice sort of flat join. So once you've sewn both of your arm panels on, we're cheating here because we're only doing one, but you want to fold it in half so that you've got your shoulder seams facing you like this, and then we're basically going to sew from one cuff down to the ribbed bottom, um, or vice versa, depending on whichever way is your preference. So like anything, there are lots of different ways that we can basically achieve the same result, but for us, this is how we personally like to seam our pieces together. So for the body, even though the pieces are all sewn together, we still like to start by lining them side by side like we have with all of the other panels. So again, you're going to measure out your yarn. We tend to do this one in a few different pieces because otherwise your yarn can get a bit ratty because it is quite long. But again, we're going to start on the opposite side to our cast off tail and then start threading our yarn through the knots on the ribbed panel. So go through the knot and then pull it nice and tight and then go through the next. And we continue to do this until we get to our panels of stockinette stitch. 
So here you can see we're in the stockinette part now. So what we do is we thread our needle under the bars like we were doing when we were attaching the sleeves to the body. And we continue to do this stitch all the way to the end. So whether you start at the cuff or whether you start at your bottom hem, it's totally up to you. It depends on personal preference. I personally go from the hem, whereas Morgan goes from the cuff and we both end up with the same result. So yeah, it's totally up to you. Take your time. Um, the more care and love you put into seaming, the better your finish garment will look so it is definitely worth taking a little bit of extra TLC so that you get some really nice clean seams.